Hi guys, this is Raghav here from Headphone Zone. Wired versus wireless headphones. This is a very, very important question that anybody looking to put down their hard-earned cash on buying their next serious headphones has to be asking themselves. Do you go for a traditional wired headphone or do you go for a featured packed latest wireless headphone that may be out there? And there are pros and cons to both, even though I have my own opinion on the subject. I'm going to try and give you a few things to think about to make that decision for yourself. Nothing beats the convenience of a wireless earphone or a earbud today. Pop open the hood on your AirPods and it instantly connect with all your devices that are out there. You find that the convenience of Bluetooth allows you to listen to music on the go without your smartphone in your hand. You can listen to music, watch movies, listen to calls, play games, do virtually everything that you need to do with the convenience of wireless technology today. It just works and it's amazing. The only problem with wireless headphones are though, that they don't sound very good, especially to listen to music in high quality. If you're someone who cares, and I mean really cares about the sound quality of the music you're listening to because you're so motivated by the idea of listening to the details that the artist has put in the music, you'll always find that a wireless headphone will sound much worse than a wired headphone. There's a very simple reason for that. Whatever money you're paying for your wireless headphones, you're not just paying for the speakers alone. You're also paying for a lot of really, really tiny batteries that have been miniaturized but still give you high performance. You're paying for a digital to analog converter. You're paying for a Bluetooth receiver. You're paying for an amplifier, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a whole bunch of sensors and microphones all packed into these tiny earbuds. So it's but to be understood that the speakers themselves or the driver units are just a very small portion of the value that the entire earbud gives you. The equivalent amount of money spent on a wired headphone or earphone will sound much, much better because all you're getting for that money is a pair of good sounding speakers connected by a cable and that's it. You'll find that wired headphones, wired earphones, whatever you'd like, are designed for just and just one purpose, which is to fool your brain into believing that the music you're listening to is being performed by the artist in front of you in the same room. And they can sound very, very nice, especially if you're listening to music at high resolutions, along with a nice digital to analog converter and put together the entire package can sound phenomenal. Wireless earphones are made for convenience. I use them all day long. I use them for my calls, for watching movies, for listening in on podcasts. Sure, I'm going to be using them all throughout the day. But I never make the mistake of listening to music on these wireless earphones. I need the music to sound incredible. I want to be immersed in it. I want to feel the emotion, the details that the artists have put into it. And at the end of the day, Buying a wired headphone is just better value for money. They're going to last you a lifetime. There are no electronic parts inside it. It's going to work really, really well as long as you take care of them well. Here's some food for thought. Every wireless headphone or earbud has lithium ion batteries built inside it. And for the convenience that they give you, they will have a lifetime of about two to two and a half years. And these batteries are not replaceable. So just like your phone or your laptop, they're going to go into the trash. So you have to think about how much money you're going to spend on a product that is only and only going to last you a short period of time and after which will be obsolete and trash.